Hey guys, I'm Ile, and this video is titled as uh, Resonance Frequency or something like that. Uh, the idea to this tutorial or, or whatever you want to call this uh, came from my small research on induction technology where frequencies are in in a key position. And also the reason why I'd uh, really like to uh, include this type of science into uh, music production and uh, let's say music engineering is the fact that uh, I have a lot of problems with bass line and sub basses especially and after I recalled my teacher mentioning something about resonance frequencies a while ago I really wanted to test it with um, a music production software Propeller Heads Reason and uh, well you can pretty much do this with any other software too but um, in this tutorial I will show you how to do it with Reason and a little bit of background uh, first of all what is resonance or resonant frequency the resonant frequency is the frequency every object in this world has and as, a, as an example I'm sure most of you and most of us have heard the story of an opera singer shattering a glass by using his or her voice and singing technique. The way this actually works or would work is that the singer would reach uh, the frequency of the glass itself and with enough power or amplitude if you might uh, in his or her voice the glass will shatter by using the resonant frequency of the class. So what does this actually have to do with music production? Well the easiest uh, way to start off is by introducing uh, something called A440 to you and the A440 or A440 uh, is and I quote from Wikipedia the musical note A above middle C or C4 it has a frequency of 440 Hertz and serves as a general tuning standard for musical pitch end quote so it's an international standard although not universally accepted I'm not sure why, why not but that's what it says on Wikipedia and naturally from here we can calculate the resonant frequency for uh, each key on your keyboard and I think that's how they actually build the uh, synthesizers and such you know the way they, they calculate each uh, fre frequency uh, of each key and including this piece of knowledge into our research we can actually assume that setting an oscillator with a sine wave onto A4 I think that's A4, I hope I calculated that right well anyway, A4 on our piano roll we could emphasize the sine wave around 440 Hertz but not anywhere else nowhere else so next stop is that we're gonna try this, I'm gonna switch to um, uh, on screen mode okay so uh, let's continue uh, I'm gonna have to read this on paper because I am the worst person to uh, perform. Where was I? I think I was right here. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's start off with the setup. The setup looks like this. It's um, reason, as I said. For okay, let's take that off just in case. I'm not sure if it matters or not. But anyway, so this means we have one sine wave right here in oscillator A. Uh, this doesn't include, this doesn't include, and nothing else includes. Like, we have a perfect sine wave, nothing else. And then we have an equalizer set to emphasize a cur uh, some certain frequency, and it's been automated. Okay, thank you. It's been automated to kind of like sweep through the entire spectrum. And then we have the maximizer to show you the level, so in, in case you don't hear the difference and I have on the piano roll right here we have a um, where is it? there we go um, C oh no sorry A3 which 
for some reason is set. Uh, well, anyway, the actual um, actual node should be A4, but uh, it's the octave, semi-octave uh, setup that we have, uh, which kind of like uh, messes it up. But um, if you can uh, try it with uh, the A4 note. But anyway, I'm gonna play this note, and already you can hear a little bit. There you go, it's sweeping, and every time it hits the 440, you can see the maximizer kind of like uh, showing the level jumping like that. That means we are playing the A4, which is the pitch, pitch standard in um, pitch uh, setup or pitch correction, and then uh, another part. Just gonna see if I forgot anything. Um, okay, so anyway, yeah, as you as you saw it, every time it reaches the peak, reaches the 440 hertz, it uh, the lo uh, the volume gets louder. So that means the resonant frequency of a 440 is indeed 440 hertz. And um, okay, so in case we want to um, continue our uh, research, which we're gonna do now, is we're gonna uh, switch off and bypass the um, equalizer. So the whole thing goes directly to the maximizer. And if the theory is correct, we should see the maximizer uh, showing the volume on a certain level, the exact level, all the time. It doesn't jump or um, do anything else, it's just static. And here we have different notes from uh, just some random notes from. Hold on, that's. Um, can't remember how to call that in English. Yeah, English is not my first language. But anyway, you can see it starts from uh, the fourth octave and it drops all the way to first octave E. There we go. So, theoretically, if I play it right now. You can hear it uh, running, uh, and we see right there the maximizer doesn't show much. It just you know jumps every time the new um, note is triggered. But that's it. I mean, that's everything that we have. But <clears throat> where it actually gets a little bit more um, complicated is. Uh, when you have multiple oscillators, oh sorry, oscillators, more harmonics, and quite probably just you know pure chaos on your setup. So how do you actually know the resonant frequency in that case? I'm gonna cut right here, and I'm gonna um, show you another setup that I did. Okay, so now um, <clears throat> here is our. Um, Synthesizer, which is labeled sine base right there, which uh, includes uh, three sine waveforms from different analog oscillators. Um, seems like we only have two, but anyway, uh, we have two oscillators on top of each other, and they are synced. Like you know, there's no phase difference or anything, at least intended. So. Um, what I'm going to show you now, I have a little loop with a couple of different notes, but the way you will see, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but I'm just going to play it right now. And as you can see, the oscillator, no sorry, the uh, maximizer uh, jumps every now and then, it jumps a little higher. Uh, that's because um, the uh, double sine wave oscillator has its own resonance frequency but we have no idea which one it is uh, at this time the bypass has been done to equalizer the compressor is not working it's only uh, maximizer so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to find um, the certain frequencies for each note and from here we can see I'm I've set the note to C3. Uh, the modulation probably something else because I've dropped the octaves here uh, kind of bit. But anyway, 
Now we're going to switch on the equalizer and now we're just gonna play one note which is the C3 so looks like this okay and it seems to be uh, jumping around 12 to 10 uh, decibels of negative then we're gonna switch to the next which is uh, D no sorry uh, yeah D3 and we're gonna play this and you can see it's now between 10 and 6 which is different from the previous one and uh, according to our uh, study from the first uh, part of the test with pure sine wave it should be equal but it's not the reason is we have two analog oscillators with uh, some kind of uh, phase difference or whatever it is unintentional but um, according to the nature of the uh, oscillators and the synth itself then we have one more um, oscillator which is no sorry a uh, note which is um, B2 and we're just gonna play that and see what 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 it says it says we have um, between 10 to 6 um, the resonant uh, resonance frequency and um, now if we're gonna play the whole thing with no equalizer you can see every now and then it just you know drops out so how are we gonna do this you know how are we going to decide what to do with the um, uh, with the bass or the sound uh, I have a setup here and according to uh, the pattern these are the two notes that are the loudest so we can try to find the frequency that would drop them around 12 to 10 so okay I think here we go yeah so that's uh, 12 um, uh, approximately 12 it's almost 12 decibels and if we um, if I'm just gonna cancel my previous um, actions it's gonna uh, reset the whole thing and now uh, I have a preset already done and now you can see um, the frequency pretty much just jumping around be between the 18 and 10 which kind of like evens it up and uh, uh, the f resonant frequency seems to be around uh, 78 and um, I've amplified um, a little bit higher than uh, it seems to be around maybe 100 not sure but that would be on the first one because that's the highest frequency so if uh, uh, if we increase that frequency it kind of like evens this and um, makes it more static uh, if you compare to these two so thanks guys for for watching my name is Ile and hopefully this uh, little tutorial was helpful to you we'll see you later bye